Hey guys, welcome to a home vlog. Welcome to Megan and the Trumpo Tribe Adventures. If you're new, I'm Megan. I am a mama of six boys, ranging from 18 down to five, and then a baby girl who's one, and a wife to a wonderful husband. And this video is gonna be all about my routine in, my homemaking routine in getting dinners made for this crew and the massive grocery haul. Keeping healthy snacks around the house. We have been on vacation having the best time in Cape Coral, Florida. So for the past several videos uploaded, it's all about that trip. On our 17 hour drive home from that trip, I started planning and thinking about groceries and stocking up this house for the summer especially i want to have things pretty well stocked up my pantry my freezer my fridge with all the things i need so i'm not constantly running to the store and we can have more fun together i just wanted it to be more organized so i started doing my normal routine where i just I dig through the internet and I get inspirations from multiple sites and uh, different recipes. And I finally did something that I've been thinking about for a long time. I knew about this forever and it's been out. I'm late in the game with this. It's been out forever. Emails. <laughs> it's basically everything that I was doing all in one site and the time put into it is way more less than what I was doing. It, actually before it was kind of daunting because I would look up the recipes and then I would have to for myself, write them all down and then normally I would do a Walmart pickup um, and then I would have to put them into my Walmart shopping cart or even just going to the store. It was just all daunting. It took a lot of time and emails is great because it's everything that I was doing but they kind of just do it all for you. You have tons of recipes. It's an app. I downloaded the app. You get tons of recipes, tons of inspiration. You pick the ones that you want. They, they put out new ones each week. Actually, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and snack ideas, and dessert ideas. They put out new stuff every week. You just pick what you want. Literally, you just add, those res add that recipe to your Walmart shopping cart, and it will have everything in there for you that you need to make. Certain recipes, dinners, desserts, everything. And it's awesome. Here's a quick look at the emails app. Here it is. And you can choose different meal plans. There's quick and healthy, budget friendly, clean eating, keto, 30 minutes, kid friendly, slow cooker, heart healthy, low calorie, low carb, paleo, diabetic, gluten free, Mediterranean, plant based. We went with the quick and healthy. And like I said, they put out new dinner plans each week and lunch and breakfast. And it's super easy. You just click on what they have for you this week. They will put out this week and last week's meals. Tons of things to choose from. Everything I was looking for all over the internet before, all in one app. This looks really good. This is teriyaki meatballs with pineapple. You add it to your list. It'll say added, then go to your list. There it is, and then it will be in your shopping list. And then there's multiple places that you can add to get your ingredients from. I picked Walmart. You just go to Walmart, and then it says we're sending them to Walmart. There's all the items that I'm gonna need for that certain recipe. And then it says add a add your items to cart and there they go and they're in they're ready for your Walmart pickup so easy right there all in your cart all the ingredients and that's just one I picked several meals to choose from even some desserts and I was excited because it took no time at all 
Another really cool thing I liked about the emails is they not only just gave you a dinner recipe, but they also give you inspirations on sides. And all of that will go into your Walmart shopping cart, and it was great. You can also take recipes that you find elsewhere outside of the emails app and copy them and put them in to the app and it will put all your ingredients wherever you want to shop to get them. Okay, we've actually been home for quite a bit of time and I am filming this way after I did all the grocery shopping and everything and it's almost actually about time for me to start the whole process over again. But I'm going to take you back uh, when we got home from our lovely trip away and show you getting this house stocked up and the whole routine. And here is everything from that Walmart pickup. It's huge and there is a lot to put away. We got some salad kits, our greens, all of our dairy products. Rotisserie chickens, the best thing to cook with. The chicken is done and it's so good. All my pantry items here that we're gonna stock up with a lot of ingredients for the e-meals. All of this is ingredients for e-meals right here. Frozen fruit, we love to make smoothies, so I keep this on hand in the freezer. An e-meal thing, I have no idea. <laughs> All this is emails. I gotta remember. Sourdough bread, I believe that came for an email as well. Coconut milk, we're getting into, oh, there's the pineapple. We're getting into making a lot of smoothies. So we were gonna make some pina coladas. I think that goes with an email as well. So much stuff. We're gonna we're gonna attempt sushi, and then look at this. This is a hack that I'm gonna do. I finally did it. Mason jars. We're gonna keep our veggies in there and our some of our fruits because they say it lasts longer. So more about that in a bit. Here's a closer look into the ingredients that I'm getting for these emails. Again, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing with these. I got to go back and see what meals I put on there, what all this would go to. But it's there, and it was conveniently put together for me and picked up with ease to bring home. I just got to look at my app now, the emails app, to see what it all goes to. Okay, next day, and here we are in Aldi's, just getting the last little things um, that I need to get for our family. I love um, the prices and the produce at Aldi's here. I've got my kids helping me uh, pick out these watermelons. It's been a thing already uh, starting in the spring. Who could pick out the best watermelon? Here's Nolan being silly. <laughs> Camera shy. Miley's sleeping, thank goodness. Tomatoes. Just the little odds and ends of things um, that I needed. And I probably could have got a lot of this at Walmart, yes. But, you know, if it's going to save me a little bit of money, it's okay. It didn't take us too long in here. And I had some helpers. A lot of this extra stuff is for recipes that I want to have besides the emails. Oh no, the kids found the toilet paper. <laughs> They're making forts. 
I told them, get out of there before the workers come. No, as their mom, I told them, you shouldn't be playing back there. Here we are checking out, and all hands are on deck, helping. The little boys love to help. They even fight over helping. Hi, Miley! She wants out of that car seat. They were pretty good in the store, so we found these uh, root beer popsicles. There they are. Nice summer treat, right? Ah, uh, the lovely bagging it yourself at Aldi's. Here we are. Everything organized and in a bag. Oh, someone's wanting some chips. <laughs> Here we go. Off to put this load away when we get home. Okay, last stop for this grocery haul. Same day, we are now in Meyer. I don't go into Meyer very often, but in the summer, I find myself in there a lot. Um, they have really good fruits, and yes, we got some fruit from Aldi's already, but they've just got a whole different thing going, and I'd love to go in there and stock up on even more fruits. Here's the Walmart haul full of ingredients to make this dinner. We got some five cheese Texas toast from Great Value, some Tyson's crispy chicken strips, mozzarella cheese, Parmesan cheese, some tomato and basil marinara sauce, and the inspiration given for the side, a Caesar salad kit with some baby spinach mixed in there. I, we love salad. We eat salad a lot. I. It was nice to have the inspiration though to put this all together. Let's cook it up. Chicken's in the oven. First meal down. We added some sweet potato fries to it. Looks yummy. <laughs> this, you guys, is a super fast, easy, quick meal to throw together. I just threw it in these pots, tossed, mixed up some spices, and we're good. Chopped up some smoked sausage and some onions in here, threw in some spinach, and then I did a mixture of water, apple cider vinegar, and Dijon mustard, and poured that mixture over top of this, and I tossed it, and then literally this is just, you just follow the package for the potatoes, and now I'm going to, and now you serve this on top of the potatoes, and I already tasted it, and it's gonna be really good. Look at this meal. Smells good, looks good. And it's easy. Another healthy dinner in the books. It's tortellini tomato soup. R super easy to put together. Like the easiest one yet. I got all my ingredients here to make refrigerator dill pickles and these are cucumbers that I got from Aldi's just recently. Got some dill from my Walmart pickup and then I had the rest of this stuff already on hand. Some garlic, sea salt, white distilled vinegar, sugar. Our family loves dill pickles and it's a healthy snack to keep around. Can you help? And we love the homemade. Yeah.
Okay, here it is, the mason jars. I'm using them to keep our veggies and fruits in to help them last longer. Here's the mason jar. We are going to fill one up with broccoli and another one up with some carrots to have on hand for a healthy snack. And this is what the big ranch is for that we got from all these to go with our vegetables. Pop them in the fridge, easy to get out, take a handful of each, have a nice snack, already ready to go. Next up for our healthy kick here, we are going to make some whole food granola cereal. We love cereal in this house but I do not love all the added ingredients, high fructose corn syrup, food dyes, and whatever else they put into the cereal that is not healthy for us. This I know is gonna be healthy. We love granola. This is so good with some yogurt or even some milk tea as cereal. And you could put some added toppings in there as well, some fruits and nuts. I don't know, this is so healthy. Maybe even on some of the times you can add in some chocolate chips. Only some of the times. But it's really good and healthy. And when you have the time to whip it up for your family, it's awesome. Easy. All it takes is oats, whole wheat flour, honey, ground nutmeg, ground cinnamon, and some coconut oil. I already had the coconut oil. And the oats, <laughs> these two items came from Costco. They're huge. We're making a big batch of this, so I got the oats from Costco a while back. And then in my haul just now, we got the whole wheat flour, the ground nutmeg, the cinnamon, and some more honey. We have 24 cups of oats in there, one cup of the whole wheat flour, two tablespoons of cinnamon, one teaspoon of nutmeg. We're gonna stir all the dry ingredients up. And for our wet ingredients, we're going to add two cups of coconut oil and two cups of honey. I'm gonna melt down the coconut oil to make it more liquefied. And then we will stir that in there. All right, two cups of coconut oil, two cups of honey going in. Stir this up to combine it all through. You'll wanna preheat your oven to 325 and then start putting the mixture in a single layer on baking pans. When it comes out, store in an airtight container. How long is the best way to scoop or? I will be topping my yogurt with this in the morning with maybe some fruits and nuts. Oh, yeah. First harvest from our garden here. Look at these zucchinis. I've heard so much about zucchinis just this year. Everybody's doing really well with their zucchinis. And so did Let me we. See, Mom. First Let me harvest. This. Check that out. That did not take long at all for those to grow. Can it I seems like one? we just planted our garden. Mm -hmm. I Nolan, mm -hmm. it grew. And everybody's asking me to make zucchini bread. Do you want some? You could try it. You probably have tried it before. But here's, here's one. There's one growing. Nice. Whoa, here's another one, guys. Did you miss it? Do you want this one? It looks ready. Toad popped out a little bit. <gasps> oh, look who came to see us. Well, look at the broccoli yeah. going in between. The, hey, he's broccoli. jumping away. And here I am. I jumped right into making this zucchini bread with our ginormous zucchinis. I'm gonna make um, quite a few loaves 
and maybe some muffins as well. All of this bread and muffins freeze really well, so it's good um, to have on hand for a quick breakfast on the go. The kids love it. Um, I'm hoping that it doesn't get all eaten up before I can freeze some of it and save it for their breakfast in the morning. And here we go, the finished product of one of those yummy zucchini breads. It's actually morning when I'm filming this. I'm going to have a slice. The kids are at grandma's house. I'm going to enjoy this with a cup of coffee. I'm getting the middle piece. Yes. It's the best part. Okay. All right. We are going to end this video here. That was just a glimpse of my routine of stocking up for this summer and, and then showing you some of the emails that we made and just some of the snacks that I started keeping around the house for the kids this summer. What you doing? <laughs> summer is in full swing over here. We've already been doing so many activities. Stay tuned, more videos to come of our summer fun. And like I said earlier, it's about time for me to, ah, oh, you're getting me. It's about time to start the routine all over again, to stock up our house and get some more meals lined up. I'm gonna be using emails again, I loved it. <laughs> I'm kinda of stuck with it because I did the, it's, I did the uh, 14 day trial, free trial, and I just kept using it and yep, they took my first uh, payment out, so. I'll be using it. Stay tuned. I'll probably make another video of our of our next round of dinners and uh, more snacks that I'm going to be stocking up with. Yeah, the zucchini bread did not last very long. The pickles went pretty quick. <laughs> the broccoli and carrots, I got them out and made them eat. They didn't go as fast, but they are dwindled down quite a bit. It was really nice to have on hand. It was really nice to have on hand. Stay tuned. Yay! I'm thinking up some another lineup of some Yay! snacks. I think I'm gonna be making some protein balls. Um, working with. I think some healthy muffins. If you like this video, please give us a like. Leave us a comment, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Say bye, Miley. Say bye. Wave. No, do it, do it. Say bye.